Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, as I promised, we're doing a second one this week. It is going to be a seahorse. So you're going to need a longer rock for this one uh, so that you can fit the whole sea seahorse onto it. Um, I was inspired by Pinterest. Um, I'm just winging it. This is my second seahorse ever painted. Um, and my first one was a dotted one. So this one I'm not going to dot. Now I'm going to fill it all in. And, and then I'll show you how I get the fins on there as well. But I'm going to first paint the entire body white because my stone is so dark that uh, the colors won't pop the way I want them to on a dark stone. So I have to prime it with white paint first. And you'll notice that it does help brighten your colors if you've tried it out before. Now, I am still not feeling well, so I apologize for how strange I sound. My throat's very swollen. Um, so I'm going to leave it at two tutorials this week and not go any further, I think, so that I can rest up a little bit. Um, so I've painted in. Now I'm going to put the fins on. I just put a little, like, eyebrow bump there for the head and made some lips because they have the cutest lips. And now I'm doing just triangles and there's the dorsal fin with three points on it and then I kind of like web them together and then I'm going to color them all in white so you'll see that in a second as well I just found that this was the easiest way for me to get the fin right um, is by starting off with a couple of different steps first. So I hope this helps you out. Now you can do two coats of the white if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just going to make sure that it's all filled in um, and then we will hide all of those imperfections and, and brush lines with the paint. So that looks like a seahorse a little bit. It's kind of chubby, but you know what? A lot of my rocks uh, paintings have a chubby quality to them, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And no seahorse's feelings were hurt today, just so you know. My seahorse loves me. So you can use sponges for the color uh, because we're going to kind of seamlessly blend in the colors together, doing purple, cobalt blue, and also teal. So I'm starting with purple because it's my favorite color, and it's going to be what the color of the belly is. You don't have to use these uh, sponge daubers. You can use uh, brushes. You can also use uh, regular sponges that you cut in order to make them the size you want them to be and easy to work with. It's completely up to you what you use, but if you want these, I purchased mine on Amazon and the link will be in the description. So I'm just going to take some time to blend this um, and hopefully by now if you've been watching my tutorials you have a little bit of practice with blending because I do a lot of it. So I'm adding in the cobalt blue and I'm going to just kind of mix and mingle that in with the purple so that there's a nice blended uh, color change there. It's not like a hard line, it just kind of blends nicely together. And then on the very outside uh, of the back of the seahorse, it's going to be teal. And you don't have to do um, yours as thick as mine or chubby, as I say. Um, you can do a very skinny one. I'm going to show you another one that I did um, right after I made this one. I, I decided to try it again. Um, so you'll see it after when I when I show you this one at the end of the video sealed with resin. Um, you'll see the other one that I made as well. And it's much skinnier than this one. So you can use any colors. You can use like the, the traditional colors of seahorses, which is like orange and yellow. And they're all such beautiful colors. So take a look. You, you don't have to use the colors that I'm using. Um, but just get some ideas off of Pinterest or Google and, and go from there. 
I'm just giving you a start. This is how I want to do mine. Um, so if you want to do yours differently, all the power to you. He's super cute. I love his little face. Now I'm going to be using um, black dots and stuff uh, just for the eye. There's going to be a black dot, um, which I fill in with crystals afterwards, actually. Um, and if you want to see what that looks like, I will be posting a picture of it crystallized in, on Rachel's Rocks on Facebook. Um, so you'll be able to see all of my rocks there. Um, and it's going to be posted in my Etsy shop as well. So Rachel's Rocks Canada on Etsy has a bunch of my stuff in there right now. So I'm blending in the teal. I'm keeping it dark um, on the fins and just kind of blending it into the blue. You don't have to add crystals to yours. I usually add them after I've sealed it because if you seal it over top of the crystals, it changes the glitter effect of the crystal. So um, they're not as sparkly at all if you resin over top of your crystals or you spray a sealer, a sealant of whatever kind you're using. If you spray that over top of the crystals, they lose a lot of their beauty. So I always put mine on top when it's dry. Um, if they're going outside where animals can like pick the crystals off and eat them, it could hurt them. Uh, so if, if the rocks are going outside, I always resin over top of the crystals. But once again, it changes the whole look of them. So I'm doing the same thing with the head. Um, it's not really in a great view right now, but I'm just kind of blending in the same colors um, to go down the the nose, the snout, or I'm not even sure what you call that part of the horse's face. Um, but I'm just kind of bringing down the colors so that they're all mushed in together on his head as well. I'm not very good at explaining things today. And, well, all the time I'm not very good at explaining things. <laughs> but today especially, my mind is very foggy and I haven't had much sleep. So I appreciate you guys just kind of going with the flow with me here. So I am going to do the same thing with the tail, uh, blend it up so that it just kind of all mingles in together. You'll see that shortly. Thank you all again for being subscribers, for always being here with me and letting me express my creativity with you all. I love seeing your work. Make sure you send pictures of your work to Rachel's Rocks uh, on Facebook. I love seeing it. I love seeing the progress you've made. I love seeing that I've inspired you because that's why I'm here. I'm just here to have fun and inspire you all to keep painting and, and love it. Be proud of yourself. He's looking pretty cute so far. We are going to be adding nail glitter. Um, you don't have to. You can put hologram paint all over this whole thing too if you want. Um, and if you are going to use glitter, nail glitter, or any glitter of any kind except for paint that's glitter, um, make sure that you, in order to keep it where you want it to stay, use Mod Podge or give it a quick spray. Um, like from farther back, don't spray up close or you're going to move all of the, the pieces of glitter everywhere. But if you just run over it with Mod Podge or a quick spray of like Krylon, um, any kind of spray sealant, it will hold the glitter in place, then let it dry, and then you can resin it to make it like high gloss, like my rocks. Um, but that Mod Podge or the quick spray will keep the glitter where you want it to stay and it won't travel all over the rock. That's once again optional. You don't have to use nail glitter. Um, I use a lot of hologram paint so that just it's just like paint and the glitter doesn't go anywhere. So if you want to try that that's a the next best option. So I put a dark teal line just to kind of separate the body of the seahorse and the fins. We want those to be noticeable, a noticeable difference between the body and the fin. 
can't see it very well here, I apologize. But there we go. I'm going to use this one to make a black eye right there, bring it alive a little bit. I do fill in the eye with crystals, keep that in mind. Um, and like I said, if you want to see that, check it out on Facebook on Rachel's Rocks. And uh, you can decide for yourself if you want to put crystals in the eye as well. If you don't, just add a little white dot there. You can see the shine on the black uh, dot. Put a white dot where that shine is um, once it's dry. Put a little white dot there or two little white dots and that'll bring it alive a little bit more if you don't want to use crystals. Now here's my nail glitter. I'm just using, it's like a bluish teal nail glitter. Um, the package that I get from Amazon comes with like five or six different colors. Um, and this color is more of like a sparkling mm. teal, I guess you can say. It's like a bluish teal. So I'm just kind of putting that on the whole thing. I'm using a makeup um, eyeshadow makeup sponge to dab it in the fin area and around the eye. The eye's still wet, so I don't want to dab the eye yet. I'm just kind of making sure that the whole thing has a little bit of glimmer to it. It, you don't see it very well in the video, but it's easier to see in person. He's pretty cute. So cute. Now I'm going to use gold and I'm going to put some dots around the eye. And in order to evenly space them, I go one on top, one on bottom, one on left, one on right. And then I keep going in between those ones. I use that technique a lot. Now I'm going over... Um, the teal lines, right beside the teal line, I'm putting the gold. I still want to see that darker teal. Just kind of overlap it, messy. You don't want it to be perfect. Um, I just want to see a little bit of gold there to define the wing, the, uh, the fin, not the wing, the fin a lot better. And as I promised, uh, gold, why not? Why not add gold to everything? <laughs> I have no problem with that. Oh, he's so cute. Now I'm doing a little bit of more gold. I just kind of went down the line between the purple and the blue. And to make it look like it's kind of chubby, I rounded out that gold around his belly. And of course, this isn't a realistic seahorse, so keep that in mind. Now I'm putting um, little black dots above each fin where I'm going to put crystals as well. Um, and if you want to see how that looks, like I said, Facebook, Rachel's Rocks, it will be there. Once I seal this, you can't see those black dots very well. Um, but once I add the crystals on, they look beautiful. So in the end, the eye and the fins have crystals. So nice. Now I'm going to resin it, and you get to see the other one that I made as well. It's very colorful. Uh, make sure you sign your work. Just put your initials or or whatever your logo is, if, if that's what you want to do. And now that I've sealed it, uh, take a look at my resin video on my channel if you want to resin it just like this. Um, it looks gorgeous. You can't see the sparkles the way I can see it in person, of course, but it really looks beautiful. And here's the brightly colored one. It's a little bit thinner than the first one, but I still like them to be a little chubby. <laughs> so guys, I hope you liked it. I hope it's fun for you. Thank you so much for being subscribers and continuing to support my artwork. I love you all. Keep painting.